And we are here right now. I just cooked off the sausage. I have three pounds of breakfast sausage cooked off over here. That's waiting on the side. I rendered off all the fat and juices. It's gonna come in very handy as we put this stuffing together. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute our veggies and get our veggies uh, nice and soft and ready to be a part of the mix. What I have in the pan is a little bit of uh, sunflower seed oil. It's actually a very good oil, very tasty. Nice and hot pan, I'm gonna add the onion. Give it a little stir. A little stir right here. Because I did render off some of the fat from the sausage as well. So there's, there's a little bit of sausage at the bottom of this. It's not a problem. Because all that's doing is flavoring the onion. So I've got that going. I'm also going to put a little bit of salt. I don't need that much salt because I've already got plenty of salt in the sausage. And as well in the butter and the chicken stock. So I'm just going to use a little bit of salt, not too much, but the salt's going to help draw the water out of the onion as well. We're going to season in layers. Uh, I'm going to add black pepper. Plenty of it. We're going to be very generous with black pepper. And we're still going to be generous with the black pepper. We want this to be a nice and spicy dish. It's not going to be overbearing. I'm going to add the celery as well right now. Celery. So I've got that in here. And this is going to cook down a little bit and be a little translucent. Celery, the reason why we're adding celery to this is the same reason why you would add celery to chicken soup. It's that flavor that it gives it. Uh, a little earthiness. There's something about celery. And I think in this stuffing, you'll notice the celery. It helps a little bit with the flavor. It gives it a little bitterness, a little, little uh, earthiness to the flavor. I'm going to add ground sage to this. And I'm going to be pretty generous. Sage is a key ingredient in poultry cooking, as well as white pepper, because I like ground white pepper, we're going to use some of that. Just be careful not to get it in your mouth, because it's very, well, it's kind of like you're going to be sneezing for a while. And also ground cayenne red pepper. Come on in with the camera. And we've got some of this in here as well. Now I'm going to mix all this up, and I wish you folks in TV land or YouTube land can smell this right now. It smells absolutely phenomenal. Oh yeah, it smells great. Aromatics are wonderful in here. And I'm gonna cook that down a little bit. And the next thing I'm gonna do, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these. I'm gonna remove these veggies out. And then I'm gonna do the mushrooms next. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Have a great day.